Welcome back to The Spirits Educator. My name is Brian Donnelly. The Spirits Educator is a digital education platform and trade resource for the distilled spirits industry. My goal is to provide in-depth spirits information, brand transparency, and category education for distributor sales teams, industry and hospitality members, and motivated enthusiasts. I currently work for a major wine and spirits distributor, and my work here on The Spirits Educator is completely unaffiliated with my current employer. Today I'm going to be talking about Mount Gay Rum from Barbados. I'm going to reference a script that I wrote for this video so that I can communicate all the information correctly. If you would like to access the written information, you can find it on my website and I will link the information below. First, let's talk about the history of the brand. Mount Gay Rum comes from the Caribbean island of Barbados, a country of beautiful green fields, a rugged east coast facing the Atlantic, and a calm west coast facing the Caribbean Sea. Many believe Barbados to be the birthplace of rum, and the country has been at the center point for the spirit's entire history. Rum is so integrated in the island's culture that the bars are called rum shops and are a cornerstone of community life. The hilltop side of the present-day Mount Gay estate can trace their rum-producing heritage to a legal deed from February 20th, 1703, which makes Mount Gay the oldest record of rum distillation in the world. The brand draws its name from Sir John Gay, a laney, who the Sober family hired in 1784 to be the manager and attorney for the Mount Giboa estate. Alaney is credited with many improvements to rum production, establishing the expertise and tradition of rum production at the estate and in the country of Barbados. The Sober family then renamed the entire state in his honor, but since there was already a Mount Alaney, they called it Mount Gay. The Mount Gay estate, which includes the original village and the Oxford plantation, has had several different owners, which have added to the brand's legacy and tradition of quality. In 1989, the French spirits company Remy Cointreau acquired the majority ownership in Mount Gay Distillers Limited, and the company still owns the brand to this day. Next, I'm going to cover the production process. The raw material base for Mount Gay is molasses, which is the category standard for almost all commercial rum. The one major exception is rum agricole, distilled from sugarcane juice in the French Caribbean, most notably on the islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique. Molasses is very different than that of sugar you might use to sweeten your coffee or tea. First, the cane sugar plant, which is at the heart of all rum production, is harvested, crushed, boiled, causing crystallization. Next, the crystallized sugar is separated, leaving behind molasses to be distilled into rum. The Mount Gay Distillery sources molasses from both Barbados and other neighboring Caribbean countries. The local molasses sourced from Barbados has a higher sugar content due to the alkaline in the soil, which adds acidity and flavor to the sugar cane, leading to a higher yield in production. The Caribbean molasses contains different minerals from the region depending on which it was grown. The brand is rigorous on quality control for their molasses. The combination of the two types gives the distillery a good balance, lower levels of sweetness, and a persistent flavor. Water is a vital ingredient for any spirit because it's used in almost every step of the production process. Barbados does not have any lakes or rivers, but instead the island sits on a limestone bedrock with porous topsoil. The Mount Gay Distillery has a 300 foot deep water well hand dug into a natural cavern in the sloping ground. The pure coral filters the water and carries essential minerals that help produce the right environment for the molasses and yeast during fermentation. The mixture of molasses and coal filtered water is fermented for around 72 hours using four different proprietary yeast strains. Depending on the still that will later be used, all yeast strains are derived from natural airborne yeast found around the distillery. The distiller uses two types of fermentation, controlled and open air using wild indigenous yeast, which adds another layer of flavor. The distillery uses a combination of traditional double column, Spanish and Scottish double retort copper pot stills and recently recommissioned Irish coffee stills. Each unique distillate will allow the master distiller to create layers of flavor. The shape of the Scottish Macmillan pot still delivers heavier flavored, more palate clinging rums. The taller, narrow necked Fragasa pot still will create lighter, fruitier rums. The traditional column still produces grassy, fruity, and butterscotch notes, 
while the Irish coffee still produces herbaceous, grassy, and floral notes. Mount Gay is very transparent about their production process. They do hold on to a few house secrets though, like their proportion of column still and pot still distillate in each blend. All maturation is done on the island of Barbados. The tropical climate of high humidity and temperature causes an angel share or evaporation loss of 9 to 11% per year. To put that into perspective, the angel share in Scotland is only about 2 to 3%. Water evaporation from the aging barrels leads to a loss of volume and increases the proof or alcohol by volume of the aging rum. Distillery uses many barrels, including virgin casks, Ex-spirit casks like bourbon, cognac, whiskey, Madeira, port, red wine from Burgundy, Sauternes, Pedro Jimenez Sherry. When I cover each individual section, I'll discuss the unique barrels in which that product is aged. All barrels are palletized and matured separately or static aged in different kinds of casks at the Mount Gay Estate. Unlike many rum producers that use the Solera technique and constantly mix different aged rums over time, Mount Gay does not use an age statement. Mount Gay Rum appointed Trudian Branker as the new master blender in April of 2019. She has been working for five years with the previous master blender, Alan Smith. The Barbados-born Branker is the first female master blender for the house of Mount Gay. Finally, it's impossible to discuss rum without asking the question about sugar. The Mount Gay brand is very transparent. They do not use added sugar to any of their rums. All distilled spirits, including rum, are virtually sugar-free. Many brands, even premium brands, add sugar, suggesting that the aged rums are super sweet. Mount Gay is known for their drier flavor profile, which makes it a perfect rum for cocktails or for sipping. If you're familiar with the Mount Gay brand, you've probably seen in the past that there was a silver expression. That has been discontinued and Mount Gay will now only offer aged expressions. The Mount Gay Eclipse is the first rum in the family of brands and is their entry level rum. The Eclipse is the heritage blend that embodies the signature flavor profile of Mount Gay. Fresh vanilla, ripe banana, almond, and dark chocolate. This expression is the only blend that did not undergo a reformulation from the new master blender, although it did receive a clean new package change. The product is named in honor of the 1910 total solar eclipse. This product combines column and pot still aged rum for two years in just one barrel, which is an ex-American whiskey barrel and bottled at 80 proof or 40% ABV. The Eclipse is a perfect cocktail rum. And if you look up my brand write-up for Mount Gay on my website, you'll find a recipe for a traditional Barbadian rum punch. The next expression is the Mount Gay Black Barrel Double Cast Blend. This expression is made from a combination of pot still and column still rum aged between three and seven years in lightly toasted ex-American whiskey barrels, then cast finished in deeply charred bourbon barrels for six months. The new master blender, Trudium Branker, recently updated the black barrel blend. The new black barrel includes more pot still rum, older rums in the blend, and a longer finishing process to better reflect the blend's bold and robust flavor profile with flavor notes of gingerbread, lychee, and toffee. This product is bottled at 86 proof or 43% ABV. The Black Barrel is a perfect replacement for bourbon in any of your favorite classic whiskey cocktails, but is also fantastic in a classic daiquiri. For me, I love to do a rum old fashioned with this product because it's got a big enough flavor profile and a little bit higher proof and it can stand up to that kind of traditional whiskey forward cocktail. But really, this is fantastic in any sort of cocktail. You could also do this in something like a Manhattan. The next expression is the Mount Gay XO Triple Cast Blend. This expression is made from a combination of pot still and column still rum, then aged separately in X American whiskey, X bourbon, and X cognac barrels for between 8 and 15 years. Master blender Trudium Branker also recently updated the blend for the XO by expanding the range of years included in the blend and using three different barrels to enhance the blend's ultimate complexity. Mount Gay XO is soft, silky, and balanced with flavor notes of salted caramel, baked fig, clover, and dark chocolate. This product is bottled at 86 proof or 43% ABV. The XO is the ideal sipping rum, but is also fantastic served over a large ice cube made from coconut water. 
The final expression I'm going to cover is the Mount Gay 1703 Master Select Release. First released in 2010, this expression is the only rum in the Mount Gay family brands released in one batch per year. So every year, the batch will have slight differences. The blend combines pot and column still rum, aged 10 to 30 years in ex-American whiskey and ex-bourbon barrels, and bottled at 86 proof or 43% ABV. All barrels used in this blend are individually numbered, and this rum should best be enjoyed neat or on the rocks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the Spirits Educator channel further, uh, please consider becoming a Patreon member. And as always, please drink responsibly.